All right, so now we're looking at this differential equation here. Uh, we have an exponent on a y, which is kind of a hint that it might be a Bernoulli differential equation, but it's not in the proper form yet. So what we want to do is we want to rearrange it a little bit. We want to move this y cubed over to the other side. So we will have, uh, and we actually, and we want to isolate the y prime. So we're going to do both those things at once. So we have y prime plus, and we're going to divide, so every, divide everything by t squared. So we get 2t over t squared, so t times y is equal to 1 over t squared times y cubed. All we need to do is just uh, reduce this a little, t, uh, 2t over t squared, we can rewrite that as uh, 2 over t, so let's just do that. We'll save some space by just doing it in the same place, so we have 2 over t. Okay, so now let's look at this. Now we have it in a, in a form that we can use and recognize as a Bernoulli differential equation. Where we have this, this is our P of t, and this here is G of t. And we'll notice here that n is equal to 3. So uh, what we want to do is we'll just write down a few things. We'll say, first of all, n is equal to 3. So obviously 1 minus n is going to be equal to minus 2. Uh, and the other thing that we want to write is we want to make this new variable, we'll call it v, is equal to y to the power of 1 minus n. So v is going to be equal to y to the power of negative 2. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'll just write it here, we have, right now we have the form y prime plus p of t times y is equal to g of t times y to the n. That's what the form we have right here. Now, we talked about in the last video so that we can, we can rewrite this with our new variable. Uh, we can just uh, reorganize it or rewrite it so that it says v prime plus uh, 1 minus n <clears throat> times p of t times v is equal to 1 minus n times g of t. If and only if v is equal to y to the power of 1 minus n. All right, so knowing that, uh, knowing this shortcut, we're going to skip a lot of steps. If you want to see the steps in the previous videos, feel, uh, feel free to go watch them, but we're saving time here because uh, chances are if you're watching this video, it's probably the night before your test. Um, so you want to find out the way to solve this the fastest way possible. So you take this form here and write this form. Okay, so knowing that, we're going to fill in some values here. We can go back to black and we can say that v prime plus, well, 1 minus n is negative 2. So actually that's going to be minus 2. Minus 2 times p of t. p of t is 2 over t. So times 2 over t. This is times v. Okay, and this is going to be equal to 1 minus n times g of t. 1 minus n is minus 2. And g of t is 1 over minus 2, so we can write that times 1 over t squared. Okay, and notice that the, there's no y to the n here. It disappears once we, uh, once we apply this. And if you did all of the steps leading up to this, you would see y. But again, we're doing this the fast version. So, I'll write this one more time v prime minus 4t times v is equal to minus 2 over t squared. Okay, so now we have a linear first order differential equation in terms of v. Uh, and we're going to look at this. Now this will become our p of t. And this stuff over here will become g of t. Now to solve this, uh, we just use integrating factor method. Um, so mu of t is equal to e to the power of the integral of p of t dt. So we get e to the power of, well, negative 4, that will be on the outside, of 1 over t dt. Uh, and then we continue with this, we get e to the negative 4 times ln of t and this is all going to become equal to uh, 1 over t to the power of 4. 
using exponent rules. Okay, so now we know that mu, we'll just write it here, mu is equal to 1 over t to the fourth. Uh, that doesn't look like a 4. There we go, t to the fourth. Okay, so now we're going to use our second shortcut uh, for using the integrating factor method, and we're just going to write this. We're going to write v is equal to the integral of mu times g plus c over mu. This is the short version, but this will, uh, again, skipping steps, but we can make this assumption uh, if we know what mu is. So we can go ahead and say that this is equal to the integral of, well, mu is 1 over, well, we can just say t to the minus 4. Uh, we need g, which is equal to negative 2, which we can bring out here, negative 2 times t to the minus 2, right? The integral of mu g, that's it right here plus our arbitrary constant, and this is all going to be over mu, so this is all over 1 over t to the power of 4. So what we can do is we can uh, we can rewrite this again, or solve the integral. Maybe we'll rewrite it one more time before we do that. So we have 2 times the integral of, now this is going to be t to the minus 6 plus c, uh, and instead of dividing by 1 over t fourth, you know what, let's just multiply by t to the power of 4. It's the same thing. Okay, so we're going to come down here and we're going to keep working on this. So we get negative 2 times, this will become t to the power of negative 5 over negative 5 plus c. <clears throat> uh, this is all, this is equal to v, remember. And this is all times t to the power of 4. So we can distribute this through. This will become 2 fifths t to the negative fifth times t to the power of 4 plus c times t to the power of 4. It's okay guys, we're almost there. So we get uh, this reduces to 2 over 5t plus c times t to the fourth. Okay, and this is all equal to v, remember, right? That, we need to write that as a v. So we're just going to circle this so you can see it. Okay, so this is the general solution to, uh, where even is it, to this guy. Okay, we've just found the general solution to that, but that's in terms of v, and we need this to be in terms of y. But we also said that um, <clears throat> if we have a solution in v, that we can write y is equal to v to the power of 1 over 1 minus n. So in our case, we can write this as, let's change the color, uh, we can write our solution is y is equal to all this stuff, where it's going to be in brackets though, 2 over 5t plus c times t to the power of 4, and this is all over 1 over 1 minus n, which is two, uh, minus 2, so that becomes negative. And there we go. We'll put a big box around this, maybe a different color again. And here you see this is the general solution to this original differential equation.